Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today we're up by the barn, and we are walking around the live cage traps we have right around the barn, and we caught something. Let's go see what it is. Y'all can see we're right next to the barn. There's the chickens. Came out here this morning. We're going to let them out, and uh, what we've got in our trap, we have box traps, live traps, right next to the barn, all around the perimeter, and you can see right here, we've got a chicken eater. Y'all see the chicken eater right there in the trap? Check this out. I think what we're going to do today is we're going to do our first Ridge Life Catch, Clean, Cook. We're going to take that raccoon right there that's Mr. Chicken Eater. You can hear the chickens quacking. That's how close we are. We're going to take that Mr. Chicken Eater and we're going to make him into a smoke, smoked meat delicious delicacy oh yeah so let's get him uh, dispatched cleaned out and we'll get him on the smoker we've dispatched our chicken eater here and it's, it's a small male raccoon actually being younger like this uh, it should be a little more tender when we smoke him up and uh, so I'm, I'm really anxious to see how this tastes uh, first thing I'm gonna do before we get into uh, skinning him I'm gonna take off this tail as y'all have seen me do several times I'm gonna take the tail off with my handy dandy uh, tail skinning tools You can see we got the skin cut back around the base of the tail. Put our handy dandy stripper on there. We just gotta make sure we get a good grip on the animal. Pull it right off. Little bitty raccoon tail. We'll get this tanned up. Now we gotta skin our raccoon. He's a small guy. I'm gonna skin him like a rabbit or a squirrel. I'm gonna cut the back and pull it apart. Make this job real easy, I'm gonna use my uh, Outdoor Edge Razor Pro. This three and a half inch razor knife is amazingly sharp, replaceable blades. I use this for uh, all my uh, deer, deer processing and uh, should make really quick work of this uh, raccoon. I'm just going to grab the skin on the back here, make a little slice into the skin, again, not getting down to the meat. Once I've got under the skin, I just got to start cutting around. Now that I'm all the way around, I should just be able to pull it off. It's like taking the pants off. It just pulls right off. That tail here. Make sure I don't cut into the abdomen. I don't want to get any of the insides on the outside of this carcass, that's for sure. Once I get all the way through here, we'll continue pulling each leg off. Works really simple, everybody. There we go. Make sure I cut up around anus there. Anybody know what this is? Pull this out of here. See if y'all can tell me what this is. Pull this out of the, the hair section. Any, anybody know what this is? It's a bone that was up in his skin. Uh, came out the, the tail section. See how small this guy is? Well, this, this bone here was right here. Anybody know what that is? Go back to getting his feet all the way down. Okay, now you stop at the feet like this. And we'll cut those off in a second. Now we gotta get the top. Then we'll go up toward the head. Get the head and the arms. All right, just pull, pull. 
pull, you know, over the shoulders, up to the neck. Not a very difficult job at all, actually. Around the elbow here. All right, got that one. Get up around this one. Pull out the elbow. All right, we got it. So now what we're gonna do, up around this neck. All right. Take a razor pro, we're gonna cut right here on the elbow. There's a little bit of meat right here on the forearm, but I'm just gonna cut right here on the elbow. Twist, twisting action. Cut the tendon right there and that comes off. We'll do the same thing on this elbow. Meat. Twist. Cut that tendon of meat right there. All right, that's off. Now, Now I'm going to cut this neck right here, okay? I'm just going to cut right around. Pull that meat right around the neck. Make sure you all can see what I'm doing here. So now we we got the neck cut, and boom, the head comes right off. Set that off to the side. All right. Do the same thing here on the um, foot. Go right around the foot. That foot cut off. And twist. Foot comes off. Just cutting behind the Achilles tendon, twist it around. Again, this Razor Pro just makes so quick work of all this job, taking care of any animal. All right, so now we've got this. Let's take the tail off, right behind. You notice we haven't perforated uh, the the animal yet, so it's got the skin, you know, the skin under the meat there. So there's the intestines. We're going to leave that intact. Now we're going to gut the animal. So now is when I got to make sure I keep uh, any dirt and debris from the inside of there. Then we're going to wash this guy completely off all the dirt that's on the outside here. It's uh, that skin on there. So we're going to, that's the part where the, the heat's going to be on. Going to get all that. So wash it off. Get it uh, smoked in the smoker. It's going to be so good. All right. So now I just want to perforate the abdomen right above there. Again, not, not making sure not to get into any of the intestines. Don't want to get into the intestines. Okay. Cutting the muscle. Cutting the muscle. All right, so now we have all the organs. This is the diaphragm right here. I'm going to cut the diaphragm, get up to the heart and all that. Lungs, cutting the diaphragm out. Got the kidneys in there. I'm not going to save any of the organs on this animal. That'd be trap meat. Okay. Lungs, heart, esophagus should all pull right out. Pulls right out, everybody. All right. Everything's pulling right out. Nothing's getting contaminated. All right, so now i got to cut right around the pelvic area, and I do not want to cut the... See, there's the um, bladder. I do not want to get cut into that bladder. It's going all out the bottom there. So I'm going to cut around, not cutting the bladder. Break it open. All right, I should be able to, once I get the test, I should be able to just pull it all right out since we cut the cut the end of it off there. Yep. I gotta cut.
cut inside. There we go. Oops. Urine's coming out the end. That's where it should come out instead of inside the body cavity. is going to come out here in just a second. I'm going to make sure I get it all clear. There we go. So, okay, the tail comes off. Now the insides can come out. Out of there. We're keeping again the open body cavity is facing up, not getting any dirt on it. This is all going to be trap meat right here. It's going to be awesome. All right, I still need to get out the uh, urethra. Make sure we clean all that out. So I need to open up the pelvic bone right here. All right, so open that up, and that will allow me. Get in, cut out whatever's remaining of the digestive tract. All right, so now we have one perfectly clean raccoon. We will get this inside, finish cleaning it up, getting it uh, ready to smoke, and uh, next part of our catch, clean, cook. We're in the kitchen, washing off our our raccoon. Make sure we get all the Form material off, any excess, you know, anything that stayed on. I'm gonna open up the rib, rib cage here. Straight down the sternum. Open that up. That way the heat, when we cook it, can get it get all up inside there. Get all the this little form material off here. And all the little skinny pieces, that's gonna be crispy. It's gonna be so good on the on the on the meat. Trying to see if I see anything that's I want to get all the lymph nodes out. See, that's a lymph node, people. I don't want that because I don't want to eat lymph nodes. Get that off there. Should be one under the other arm. All right, there it is. Cut all that out. Don't want lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are where the body puts all its bad stuff. So we don't want that in our meat. Getting it cleaned up. So there's the inside of the body cavity, all clean. You don't see any kind of uh, organs, lymph nodes, anything like that. Um, the, uh, that's the uh, tenderloin of the, uh, of the animal, you know, like on a deer, look how small that is, but we'll pull that off when it smokes. Of course, here's your back strap, your loin. So a tenderloin and loin. And uh, again, this was a small, younger animal. But uh, it's going to be tender. It's going to be good. See this fat? This fat's going to uh, uh, grill up real nicely. So I'm going to clean this water off, do, clean this off one more time, and we'll start seasoning it. I got a bowl of water, cold water. I'm going to put salt in it. Get some salt in there. And this is going to help chill the animal and uh, extrude you know, any of the gaminess flavor while we're, uh, before we uh, marinate it and uh, season it. So get all that salt dissolved. Go, that's the salt. Now let's get this animal down in the salt water. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. And uh, now I'm going to start preparing the marinade and uh, the seasoning. Get those out while that's sitting there and letting that salt do its job. We've had our raccoon soaking in salt water for a little while. The longer you leave it in, the, the more of that gaminess taste will be taken out. But again, of course, if you like eating wild game, you don't want it to taste like rubber. So, we didn't leave it in too long, but it's been six soaking in salt water. Now we're going to move it over to a, a simple marinade. What I've got is Worcestershire sauce. I know you all say I said that wrong, but that's how I say it. And I got Tony Sacheries. Oh man, you can't beat some Tony Sacheries. And of course some Lowry Season Salt. We're, we're, we're going simple today, guys. We're going to let the smoke take care of the flavoring. Okay, this is just going to be to help it out a little bit. So what I want to do is pour some uh, Worcestershire. Sharp, Woo, a little bit much. Pour that down in the bowl there. I'm gonna get my raccoon, drain all that water off of it. There we go. So get it down into the Worcester Sharp. That's good. Okay, flip it over. Oh yeah, look at that guy. That looks good. Okay, 
So now, let me wash my hands off. Thank you, Riley Homestead. And I'll get the seasoning on there and I'll put some more worship. So now I'm going to add some Lowry season salt. I'm just going to generously go all on the outside, flip it over again. I know it's falling off when it goes back in the bath, but it's all right. Okay, now I want to get the inside. I'm going to get the inside, inside, inside. Okay, remember, there's a tenderloin in there we're going to pick out when we're done. Okay, so Lowry season salt is done. Now we're going to do the same thing with the shasheries. Pulling his sachery. Nice little seasoning there. Oh, yeah. Creole raccoon bridge lifestyle. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and the whole body cavity is full of that Worcestershire sauce. So now we're going to bring it over like that. Get it deep down in there. You know, keeping this hand clean. I know I just poured off a lot of what's on the outside of there, everybody. I understand. Okay, now. Back on the top, back on the top. So what I'm gonna do about every 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna start flipping this over. You can submerge it if you've got enough Worcestershire, um, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna flip this over in 15 minutes. Now we're gonna start getting the grill ready. While the raccoon is marinating, we're preparing our charcoal and our Oklahoma Joe's Cyclone Charcoal Starter. This thing is so awesome. I got a video uh, review of it, and uh, <laughs> I really enjoy it. It, it actually gets um, regular charcoal lit faster than match light does. Besides smoking with uh, regular charcoal, we're also going to do some various hardwoods. Now, actually, I'm using hardwoods cut from here on the ridge. I've got a bunch of, a couple different types of hardwoods here, and I cut them into discs, and we're going to put these on the charcoal, and the smoke's going to be so delicious. Let's get our cyclone starter going chimney starter, however you want to call it. Light it from various sides. Give that 10-15 minutes, we'll be good to go on our charcoal. This didn't take too long to get our charcoal nice and gray. Bring this up, flip those out carefully. Pretty awesome. All right, let's move this off to the side. So our charcoal is gray. We won't put any uh, wood chips on it until we're ready to put the meat on it. We don't want to waste our smoke. So I'm going to close this up, get our chimney and uh, vent set on slow so we don't lose our heat. And uh, now we're going to go get the meat. Charcoal is hot. We have got up to 250 degrees, which is the top of the smoke range. Of course, as it burns down, it's going to cool off. We want to keep it in the smoke range, which is 150 to 250. Preferably, I want it 200. I want to cook this thing long and slow so it's tender and not uh, hard and crispy. So let's get the raccoon put on the grill. You can see it's been, again, marinating in our Worcestershire, Tony Sacheries, and Lowry seasoned salt. Oh, it's just full of goodness here. So let's get this put right in the center there. Of course, we'll be flipping this thing over on all different sides. And I'll use this sauce as a marinade, or baste, I mean, as it slow cooks, okay? So I'll set that off to the side. Let's get this closed down. And uh, now I'm going to start adding some wood chips to the uh, smoker section, get some smoke coming through here. All right, look at those red hot coals. We'll get a little bit of wood on there. Now it starts smoking. Tasty. Ooh, now we can really see the smoke billowing out of this thing, man. This is, let's see what the raccoon looks like. Oh, look at the smoke billowing out, everybody. Oh, that looks wonderful. Keep cooking, keep cooking. Temperature's coming down, more in the smoke range. Perfect. This is our first flip of the raccoon. We'll see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Slow cooking this bad boy. Nice. Nice. Let's give an update here and see how it looks. Oh, everyone, that looks delicious. Delicious. Let's get that flipped over there. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. Let's get a little baste on it. First the outside. Make sure we we are ready to pull off our smoked raccoon. I am so excited to see how this looks. 
Oh, that looks delicious. Look how juicy that looks. Tender, juicy, and done. That is perfect. Love that, love that. Let's get it on this side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let's get it on the plate. Let's cut into the leg of our raccoon here. Let's see how good this is. Get that opened up. It's a nice smoky flavor. All right, get that up. This is our first catch clean cook here on the ridge and we're doing it with a raccoon we caught right at the barn. After I uh, dispatched the uh, raccoon, I walked around the other traps and I found that there's a trap right next to the chicken coop. It's a smaller trap than we caught this raccoon in and that trap had uh, chicken bones and stuff in it we had scraps we put in there well the raccoon had uh, made the trap trip so the door closed but he was on the outside of it so he reached in and grabbed a chicken bone and he drug that trap into the woods about 20 yards and there was raccoon tracks all around the chicken coop so we are lucky he was um, occupied with our trap bait instead of our chickens that night well unfortunately for him he went over to the trap we caught him in and that was the end of him. So, now we've got him smoked up with wood we've harvested here on the ridge. That's the wood, hardwood I used to smoke this thing. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce and some uh, uh, Tony Sachery. So we're gonna see how we cooked it done. I wanna make sure this was done. So it was fully done. So I'm gonna taste, see how this tastes. Hmm. Raccoons are chewy meat. I think it's my seasoning though. Hmm. I could definitely do this again. All right, there you go. Catch clean cook on the ridge. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed day. Go inside.